I love what you just said about being versus doing, because that's the way that I look at, at all the goals that I set is who am I going to have to become in order to, in order to accomplish that. You have to, you have to start looking at your goals and looking at your aspirations, looking at your ambitions with this perspective, who am I going to have to become to accomplish it? Who am I going to have to become? What am I going to have to do to change, to evolve, to grow, to stretch? Who am I going to have to become to be the person that can have that thing, that can do that thing, that can reach that goal, that can make that happen? Because that starts here. And it, and it starts from the inside out. Who am I going to have to become? Especially for those that are in a storm right now, in a struggle right now, because there's going to be people that are listening to this that, that are going to say, man, this is all great. It's awesome. You don't, you don't know my situation or, mm -hmm. or you don't know what I'm going through right now. But my biggest encouragement to those people, and if that's you that's listening to this, is that, man, no matter what you're going through right now, that there is a blessing on the other side of it. And you will not receive that blessing until you become the person who can. And that's why you are in that struggle is because you are being molded into the person who can receive the blessing on the other side of it. You know, a goal of selling a thousand policies this year, which will generate this much income, there are steps and activities and things that you have to do on a daily basis that play out over months and quarters and over the year to get to that goal. But the person that sells a thousand policies is a completely different person. And the yep. steps that you have to take along the way to become that person are working in parallel with those action items, but it's a whole separate mm -hmm. thing. It's a whole separate game that you're playing when yep. you're trying to become a different person. It's the framework that I put on every single goal that I set. Who am I gonna have to become to achieve that? What version of Tyler am I gonna have to create to be the person that can do that? Especially something I've seen happen th um, throughout the last four years working with Joseph, as as he has leveled up and as our organization has leveled up, he's had to become different people um, to take on different challenges and take on different situations that he knew he was going to have to face. Mm -hmm. And so he had to go through things himself and put himself through intense uh, discomfort and, and take himself out of his ordinary element mm -hmm. and put himself in situations that he's never been in in order to become that person but that was completely separate from the goals that he had on a daily basis True. of running a business and pushing a um, an organization uh, to new to new heights mm -hmm. and we always learn this in hindsight but if well dude that's why like wise men that's why old exactly dude, but if you can old man eating at the wall house by himself Go buy him breakfast and ask some questions. Real hundred percent, a hundred percent. But that, but that's ultimately what it is. It's, it's who are you becoming? Who are the, who is the person that you are becoming? Um, it's, it's so important, man.